I think we get like two seconds of music before we get copyright stricken. Okay, anyways, hey guys. So uh, you remember in the last episode how I didn't get to sleep at all because we were finishing the build? Well, um, I went home after that and an hour later, uh, Kyle called me and told me that the Raptor blew up. Yeah, the Raptor exploded. Uh, no, we think there was a critical engine failure though. The Raptor may, may be toast. He said that there was a warning that came on about um, low oil pressure, even though we did check the oil before the trip. Anyways, Raptor's dead. Kyle's been stuck at a uh, at a truck stop, and I did what any uh, person would do when we have to be at SEMA in, in an absolutely no time at all. I absolutely panicked. I ran down to U-Haul, and I tried to buy a used truck. Didn't work out well. These dudes tried to sell me a truck that had the catalytic converter cut off of it, and it had a dead battery. So uh, I didn't do that, and um, and and all of the rental trucks were like completely sold out but i think i think i think we've been here uh well we got dinner and stuff like that but uh we've been working on this for the last four or five hours <laughs> but i think we got a rental truck i'm gonna head inside right now i'm like i gotta get a rental truck and a tow hitch and everything so we can basically swap out the raptor with a truck that works damn it So this is our truck. This is our SEMA tow rig. I think this is what's gonna make us make the show on time. Well, I mean, late by a day, but still kind of on time. I'm pretty sure my tow hitch is a three finger tow hitch. That's how I measure these things. Um, the lighting the lighting works out. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm pretty sure this is my truck. I'm gonna try and rent it right now and get the hell out of here and meet up with Kyle. We're in our new truck. A little Silverado tow rig we got here. This is honestly, I think the interior might, well, it's not nicer than the Raptor, but it's it ain't a bad place to spend the next few hours driving if I was in Kyle's shoes. I really uh, would love to actually go on the road trip, but my back absolutely can't handle it. So let's get this bad boy to Kyle and take the hand off of the broken Raptor. All right, guys, the Eagle has landed. We're trading out this truck for that truck, working on getting the trailer unhitched so Kyle can get back on his way. I wish we had a cover. Wow, this bed is a lot bigger than my bed. So my, my review of driving a 2018 Silverado, it's actually a really nice little truck. It's quite a comfortable ride, nice and quiet. Steering is a little, little muted, but anyways, good truck. Um, so we're gonna transfer everything over and we're gonna get this truck hopefully hooked up over there. The big thing is making sure our tow hitch fits. I did the finger measurement, Kyle. I did yeah. the finger measurement. I don't know. I hope, I hope. Three fingers, right? Oh, that's solid. That's solid. Okay. Okay, good. Let's get it in there. So when Kyle broke down, he described the situation to me. And then, uh, you know, I got here and we, we detached the trailer. The trailer hitch fits really nice on the Silverado. And, uh, and then he tried to start up the, the Raptor. And I realized that the engine is cranking very freely. It's not knocking. It sounds, it sounds healthy. So I actually decided to start looking at the electrical and we found the problem already. I already called AAA. So I think we're already getting a tow home. I don't know. This could be awkward, but, uh, we blew the fuel pump fuse. You can see it's all browned out over there. Um, it was cranking, but no firing. You know, it's air fuel spark, right? So you look at all of those things and uh, fuel is one of the easier ones to check, fuel pump, fuel pump fuse. So we can't borrow any of the fuses from over here because they are very, very important to the rest of the system, but we're at a really nice truck stop. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to find one there. We're gonna pull this bad one, try and go find a new one, should fire up, and then maybe I'll be able to drive myself home. All right, guys. I kind of replaced the fuse. The old fuse is just totally disintegrated in there. I did my best. Placing fuses can be hard. And the truck is back alive. If you don't have the right mini fuse, sometimes you can use a taller one. This guy's probably not gonna shut right. And it still even shuts. That was pretty cool we fixed the Raptor so fast. So I am going to drive the Raptor home and we are gonna to continue to do the whole towing job with the Silverado. This is a $900 rental for two weeks, uh, decent amount of miles, 2,500 miles. We're gonna save three to $400 on gas alone by using the Silverado because it doesn't take premium like a supercharged Raptor does. And um, also it's just not putting miles on my high mileage Raptor. So I figured might as well do it. I think it's worth it. So we're gonna transfer all of the goods from the Raptor to here and send Kyle on his merry way to road trip to Las Vegas.
guess who I found? Kyle's here. We made it, we are a day late, but they are allowing us to come in, which is very kind of them. We definitely did not make the deadline, but obviously we had our own problems. The car's here, it looks phenomenal. The, just, uh, the reactions that we've gotten already from people, we were driving down the strip, people were so excited to see this thing. So I am, I am really, really stoked right now. We're gonna go ahead and get unloaded. We get unloaded and then we're gonna go get in line over there and then they're gonna get us into our spot. Well guys, that was a bit of a nightmare, so I, I forgot to film anything. Uh, we started by being told that they, because we were late, because the truck broke down, I told them, I communicated with them since the second the truck broke down. I was sending them emails, I was talking to them on the phone. They're like, yeah, we gave your spot away. I guess that's how they do. So uh, it turned out when we got there that they hadn't given our spot away, so they thought they did, but they didn't. We got the car loaded into the spot, and now we are gonna go get some food and I'm very behind on sleep. So uh, let's just, we're gonna reconvene tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll head back to SEMA, show you guys the car. We have arrived, SEMA started. We got the car out here. We're gonna do a little bit of work. I didn't get, I didn't get my, my door handles in here yet, so we're gonna do a little bit of work on it. But let me give you guys a walk around. Minute All right, guys, I failed on the handle thing. We didn't bring a seven mil or eight mil or whatever mil we needed. So we got kind of dorky door handle openings, but if that's our biggest problem this year, that's okay. So it seems getting pretty packed. The, the crowd is out in full effect. I think the burn yard's going on right now. Let's go over and check out my buddy Tavares's car. He just uh, unveiled his McLaren. Let's go take a look. Tavares's uh, car was a bit of a trek for us. But we found it and it is a looker man it is definitely worth seeing so i'm gonna grab the man he's a little busy this is like sema you know so everybody's always talking with different people uh but i'm gonna have him show us around some of the uh the finer details of this car i mean i think i could look at this thing for several hours and not get all of the details uh the one overarching thing though that i can tell you is the attention to detail that was put into this build is top 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 of the notch like you're talking not a single Thing is out of place not a piece of paint not a piece of orange peel like there is literally nothing out of place on this vehicle so it is pretty amazing how much he was able to accomplish on this build so we got freddie we got freddie the man the myth the legend freddie i will tell you i've seen all your other builds this is the best thing that you've built to date i think so too yeah it's I pretty agree. it's pretty yeah. damn amazing yeah. um we saw this when we were collabing do you remember which uh thing we were building was it the z4 uh nobody could remember because we never Look, sleep the last dude, time. i have no idea what we it was probably no you know what? it was probably the race that we did with the civic and the uh se3 oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah yeah and we were collabing on that and and uh and this was hidden under under uh under some some car covers covers, yeah. some car covers and and i and i got to take a look at it and i was like that is going to be one hell of a project yeah he blew it out of the water though the like i already talked about the attention to detail is amazing but let's walk around let's start in the front and we'll, sure. we'll kind of work our way to the back sure um, so for those of you who don't know what this car is it is a 2016 mclaren 675 lt at least that's what it started life out as uh it was delta red and it had a big accident right there big accident in the back uh there's uh, some damage on the sides and it turns out needed both subframes, uh, needed some carbon work because this has a carbon tub, uh, needed some engine work. The engine slammed into the firewall, broke the turbo, broke the mount right off the block. Uh, it needed some interior work, wiring work, just everything. Right? A little bit of everything. Yeah. So we're gonna, we got a little interrupted by a very loud announcement. We're gonna start in the front a little bit here. Um, amazing carbon work throughout here. And you have the blue, accents yeah we have the blue tint here uh which is on all of the exposed carbon yeah. here and then we got uh just some uh some satin gold wrap just uh for like little it's, it's really really nice i thought it was paint at first but yeah satin, no, satin a... gold wrap yep. the accent all the pieces and it really really makes everything pop and now is that 
the, the twenty million dollar version of this is that on there too? Uh, no, 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 no that's no. your own. That's that, your own touch. That's just my own little. little that's a good you know, touch. That's a really, really salt bag. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a sprinkling of amazing yeah, on there. So yep. we have uh, a custom color called uh, Tempest Blue. So this is a Miami blue that we lightened a little bit and then we put uh, a lot of pearl into. So in the light, it, looks it just great. pops. It looks, yeah, it looks really amazing. And the blue accent on the carbon is yeah. super cool. You got that functional roof scoop here. Yeah, yeah that was that was a uh, that was a lot of work to put on because I, I mean this I entire bet. roof is just one big carbon piece. Okay, yeah. And McLaren won't sell this to you, so I have to find some other means of getting this. That's funny, because you remember when I uh, glued together a supercar and I couldn't buy a roof either? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they won't give me yeah. parts. Yeah, it's tough. Sometimes it can be tough. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, on the interior, we had uh, E3 Customs do this amazing sort of F1-inspired theme. Uh, we have the uh, black uh, piping with uh, Daytona seats. Yeah, amazing, uh, amazing. Is, uh, it's uh, English tan, and we have matching Alcantara. We have black Alcantara in here. And I have a uh, modified gauge cluster. You know how much you're gonna love just driving through Florida and this thing. Oh, yeah. like, it's, it's gonna it's, be, it's it is gonna be so cool. And we're gonna skip kind of past the engine bay. There's a lot of amazing carbon stuff right there. Hard to see too much because of the glare on the phone. You got yeah. throttle bodies there. Yeah. It's a twin turbo car. Yeah, twin um, turbo 3.8 makes around. Let's say 700 ish horsepower. Plenty of horsepower. We'll call yeah. it that much. Like way yeah. more than we any of us need. But it probably has traction control, so it probably helps it you use that 700 yeah. horsepower. It has very good traction. control. A lot of people so. don't realize if you put 700 horsepower in a car without traction control, you can only use about 400. Of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. the back is my favorite part, so I just wanted to skip straight to this. Sure. Uh, titanium exhaust, mm -hmm. gold plated his uh, uh, heat shield, shield yeah. which is just yeah. such a cool touch. So Everyone actually, actually what has happened this. to the gold wrap? But it wasn't it, the gold heat shielding was your thing back in the day so people actually if you look i don't know if you can see it if you look right back here you'll see some of that gold foil oh i can see some yeah it's the tamarsh yeah. touch tamarsh tape that's yeah, right yeah, tamarsh tape yes. oh that's so yeah, cool so, so cool uh, it, it was not lost on me that uh you know that gold you need a little bit of it yeah i mean the back end of this car is a uh piece of art i mean we quite, also quite simply gold. yeah and i mean this is just regular like engine enamel yeah you know like it's just we went to the the like advanced auto parts and just got this you know, I think uh, I've seen your living room and with the size of it and your, your big double doors, I think you could just park this right in the living room and enjoy it for the rest of your life too. Yeah, yeah. It's Honey, possible. We don't need, a, <laughs> don't need a table. I got the next best thing. Yeah, right where your kitchen table is. This would fit perfectly actually. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Always great to see you, Freddie. Um, let's, you uh, yeah, I will be in Florida shortly. We will make up some stupid thing to collab on. And Let's we will, uh, if anybody has an idea for us, leave a comment below. The only rules are this time we have to be allowed to sleep. Freddie has a new child. Please, yes. He's a responsible father. Sleeping. No nice. more insane multi day all nighters. No. So if you can think of a challenge that, you know, isn't. Uh, well, let's rebuild a Pagani in three days. We, we could do that. Let's do that. Is that your Honda Civic one that we're going to work on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's rebuild the Civic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, on to the next thing. Next stop on our journey is the eBay Motors booth. Check this place out. This entire video is actually sponsored by eBay Motors. They were kind enough to bring us out. As you know, towing a car to SEMA, the hotels, we got the whole crew here now. It can be a really expensive thing, and they were kind enough to bring us all out uh, and sponsor this trip. So huge thanks to eBay Motors for that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and, and show you a really interesting thing that we ran into here at the show. So eBay Motors has a brand new app. It is fantastic. It's a one-stop shop. You can... There's a... A race truck behind me there's race trucks on ebay motors there's all the parts now they've added parts so you can find your build and you can find all the parts for it all in the same spot they have their amazing fitment tool so you select your vehicle make and model and when you go look for parts they're guaranteed to fit or else you can get your money back and they also have vpp which protects your purchases as well it's a huge huge deal uh, so you can feel safe when you're you know bit buying your build you can have confidence that it's going to work out well so interesting enough story uh at the show somebody managed to break the door on the jump con they ripped off a one inch thick aluminum lug off of our door hinge kit i'm i'm not happy about it i posted some stuff on instagram uh it, that was a pretty brutal uh thing to do to a, a show car at sema i have no idea i mean We've driven around in the desert with the doors up and those hinges haven't broken. So anyways, somebody made a big mistake and uh, ripped our door hinge apart, but I bought it on eBay Motors and they have a computer right here behind me. So I've logged into my, my account. I'm going to find the seller that I bought it from originally and uh, they will probably have more for sale. Let's see if I can buy it right now. Let's see what happens. I found it in my purchase history. November 29th, 2020, we bought this hinge. So I'm going to check the uh, seller right there and go buy similar and I'll find me another set. Now, there we go. I'm gonna buy this set right here and that's all we need. I don't wanna show my credit card information, so I'm not gonna click that button on film. 
Oh, eBay, you guys need to check your PC setup. Oh gosh, uh-oh, I broke it. You guys get the picture, eBay Motors. It is quick, it's easy, I, we buy tons and tons and tons of stuff on there for our builds. The R34, which is gonna be in the next episode, we're getting back to the R34. Every body panel that we bought, we bought them all on eBay Motors. Our headlights, I mean, basically every single part, we bought them all on eBay Motors, pretty incredible. Uh, so huge thanks to them for sponsoring this episode. Now, Rich Rebuilds is floating around. <laughs> he's not floating around, he's on his feet. He's, he's, he's floating around here, and uh, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna track him down. I have never even met the guy. Hi guys, we found Rich Rebuilds. I am right he's, here. Yeah, he's here in the Vibrant Performance booth mm -hmm. with the amazing Ice T build. Yes, let's uh, you, let's you. walk around, check it out. Let's talk about this thing a little bit, huh? All right, so I have so, my overly gaudy. Bag dude, here. I love that thing. I love that hey, thing. I, we I, were I, just I, talking about this. It's a little. It's a little Disney. It might be inspired by. It's, it's Disney inspired. It's, it's inspired by. It's not a copy. Uh, a I know, movie. I, I know Disney will go after you. Yeah, they'll Disney, go after Disney, anybody. Disney yeah. Inspired. If anybody's copy. wondering why I've never built a Lightning McQueen replica, that is why Disney will sue the shit out of you. Yes, they will. Yeah, yeah. No um, amazing, amazing work here. Thank so, you. so uh, if I mean, I don't know if I zoom back far enough, but this guy's world known for building the first, uh, you know, internal combustion engine powered Tesla, the right. first non electric Tesla is it's what we're is, going yes. World's first. I love seeing world's first builds. Exactly. Um, so, I mean, you, you're like not a troll, but you like to push buttons, I would say, right? Do, yeah. yeah. Push and boundaries. Push boundaries. boundaries yeah, and, yeah. and you've done an amazing job with this build. Thank I mean, you, so LS3 out of a Camaro, you said? Uh, Camaro, uh, 20, 2011 Camaro SS, yes. Nice. Yep. And what, do, what are you guys hoping for a horsepower range out of here? Uh, right now it's picking stock horsepower. Yeah. Uh, so the, that's going to be around like four something. 350, four 400 to the wheels. Right to the wheels. Yeah. 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 Not, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Right now it's stock. Uh, we want to put a blower on it. And kind of take that'll be the next, next step. Level. That's the next step. We want to get a good yeah. baseline. It would be. It would look, it I'm, how much do you care on this build about keeping it completely factory exterior? Is that a big thing or a little thing? It's, it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing to because you. So you know, no bump in the hood to fit the. No, no. because because that'll that'll tip people off. Like, yeah. Something different. Oh, that's here. yeah. That's a really good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So what we got to do is start our own trend of Tesla roof uh, hood scoops, yeah. and then it'll fit in, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they'll have scoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got it. Is right. this normally storage for, so I've never driven a Tesla. Yeah. I, I don't own a Tesla. Right. I'm, behind the, I'm behind the times on that. Is this normally storage space? This is normally storage space. On the yeah. older Teslas, this is usually one big tub. You can put all kinds of stuff in. And the newer ones, there's usually a second motor that's right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. The tub's mm -hmm. a lot smaller. But no, yeah. this is. On the dual drivetrain motors, is it, uh, or versions, is it also storage space? Like when yeah, they on, yeah. on, on the dual drive train, I mean, there's a, there's a motor yeah. in the front too. There's storage still, but it's a lot. It's like tiny, yeah. yeah. Like my Huracan, you can fit like one bag in there and right. you're screwed. Right. Yeah. This is amazing. The fabrication is amazing. I mean, it, it looks much. it looks like OEM. Let's yeah. walk around a little bit. Um, but we were talking earlier, so yeah. the viewers know. I mean, normally it's battery packs, battery pack city underneath this entire thing. Exactly. He's right. got uh, this amazing job done here, Thank you. where you see the the trans tunnel. Um, yep. that they had to build, you know? Yeah, there was never a tunnel here before. Yeah. Uh, that's a completely aluminum transmission tunnel. We have to cut the car in half, basically cut yep. the firewall to accommodate the uh, the transmission uh, drive shaft. Transmission and, and it yeah. looks super, super clean. Thank they did you. a great job. Thank Sequential you. shifter in this bad boy. So it's like, it's an awesome build and mm -hmm. it's different, but it's also going to be a beast to drive. Like it's going to be yeah. so much fun to drive, no, which I'm, is... I'm, I'm super pumped about it. I had the, uh, see, to, to be subtle, we also had very low hanging oval side pipes and you can barely yeah. see out of it yeah. and that's if full the, four inch people think the Jumpicon doesn't have enough ground clearance I mean come talk to Ritz yeah, over here yeah. that's well, all it's that's on air too oh is it on air it's oh on air. okay yeah, alright yeah. I didn't see any of that back here so I didn't know so you got huge radium fuel cell back here yep Optima battery yep I have uh, three fuel pumps one lift pump back here yeah. all dash 8 going all the way to the front Oh, you did dash eight the whole way through, huh? All the way so through. you're ready for a lot more power. I'm ready for big power. <laughs> We're ready to make good power. So with all the fuel we have going on there, it should be a, a lot to. Uh, a have lot you thought about like motorsports as far as like racing? Are you interested in that idea at all? Like making a bunch of power and trying to set any types of records or anything? Like what about the fastest, uh, say, uh, a Tesla, Tesla Tesla sedan uh, quarter mile? I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because you could do that pretty ass. pretty well. Because you, right now, the, it's the Plaid's the fastest Tesla in the world. It'll probably run at what low nine at this point at like so that's hard to beat you're gonna like, need a thousand like horsepower 150 yeah so like i i don't know it's is a plat a four-door though that's a four-door oh shit yeah it's gonna be tough. okay it could be tough it's, it's gonna be a challenge but every sure. every youtuber loves a good challenge right no, of course <laughs> right. spend a ton of money if not come out and like autocross with me or something that would be really fun you think you think airbags would do well with yes they do it's actually bigger. if you tune them right and you and you just find the right pound per square inch that you want you could. yeah yeah all right cool man yeah so that's um, so, so i have a quick piece to the side they have the battery cutoff switch 
That's to kill all the power of the car. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's another drag racing thing you have to have once you start going fast enough. Exactly, exactly right. The second side exit's right here. and. That's awesome. That's kind of really it, man. Amazing build, man. Thank really, you, really man. good attention to detail and everything that you that. did. It's not just a LS slapped into a vehicle. It's a build. No, it's a truly well, well thought out machine. Um, yeah, thanks for talking with us, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate ah, that. There we go. Awesome, dude. <laughs> that was super cool, too. Uh, that's the first time I got to meet Rich and check out his build. It's a really good build. A decent amount of burnouts going on. I think that's Von Gittin Jr. right now in the Ford area. Just walking by the Jumbacon, trying to get out of the show. Not a really good time as far as sunlight. All right, now it's a little bit quieter. So uh, we're gonna finally do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've been wanting to take Kyle and Oscar out to a nice dinner in Vegas for a very, very long while. Last time we were here, we broke Oscar's back and uh, we found a place, but it was closed. We've got a reservation now. I plan on ordering some crazy food that I've never tried before. So let's hit it. Told you guys we we're gonna order some weird stuff. So we got steak tartare, which is uncooked steak. We got deviled eggs with caviar. We've got escargot, which is snails. And we have foie gras, which I really don't know uh, what it is, but I know it's, it's not very humane. But um, it's gonna be tasty. And a second round of food. I got a burger, caramel onion soup, giant steak. Kyle, what'd you Smaller get? Smaller steak. Smaller steak? <laughs> with, with grilled pork. Oh, uh, okay. Another giant steak. And Oscar got um, lamb chop. Uh, yeah. Dig in. Dinner was phenomenal. It's the next day. We're still alive. I was up to three. What time did you go to bed? Not three. Not three. Uh, Not three. How'd you like dinner? Dinner was really good. It was good. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. A lot that. of different things that we hadn't had before. Yeah, we thought it'd be like really, really expensive. I, it actually was not that expensive. So I highly recommend it to anybody that's interested in that. Like, I don't know if it's crazy type of food. I know people eat that stuff everywhere, but it was my first time trying it and some of those things, and that was definitely fun. Anyways, uh, we asked you guys in, in the comments and on Instagram what you wanted to see the most, and overwhelmingly, it was the wide body LS Swap DeLorean and the electric C10, which happened to both be out here in the Toyota Tread Pass. So we are heading over there now. I'm gonna show you around. All right, guys, we found the crew over here for uh, Salvage to Savage. Did I, I said that right, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, good. I didn't want to mess that up. I've, it's a tongue twister. So these guys are responsible for the uh, the C10 with the Tesla powertrain and the DeLorean over here. We're going to show you around real quick. So guys, in the back here obviously is like the real looker spot. Tesla rear drive unit. Yes, sir. Yep. Drive unit. How much power does that, that bad boy put down? Just under 400 horsepower, I believe, is the output. Yep. Um, and the torque range is probably a little over five. Yeah, it's monstrous, yeah. yeah. And if you guys, you know, tinker with the electronics a little bit, you're looking at yeah. more like seven. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. a little bit more frequency. Widely, widely advertised in the, when you buy Tesla stuff, uh, uh, you know, kind of sales pitch is like, yeah, just tinker with it a little bit. It'll go a lot faster. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this thing's a beast. Um, you can just see the, the attention to detail and the suspension and all the work is, is immaculate. Um, we'll jump into the interior last because there's some yes. trick stuff that I was talk, uh, told about a little bit earlier. And then they have the front drive unit as well, which is just like makes this thing such a beast because you got power in the rear. Yeah power in the front. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be true all-wheel drive once yep. we get this thing uh, rolling. You see we did a lot of cool stuff, so we built the battery on the jig table. We just did like a race car style where everything's one of five eights tubing. Yep. Up here we use Corvette upper and lower control arms from a C5. Yeah, those are these. familiar. I have those on my single seater yeah. Uh, yeah, back home. Cool obviously thing we have here is that we actually couldn't fit the whole motor and inverter together. So we physically split them in half and we did like oh, the that's beer awesome. the inverter. That's awesome. Save us on room. Awesome. And then over here in the interior, which is really, really dope. I don't... I'm not gonna touch your car, so you go, some, you go ahead and open it up. We got some, up. G, we got some GTR door handles in here for you. Are those GTR door handles? Uh, they look really they, they familiar. Look like I thought the they might've been from, from Tesla. <laughs> yeah, if you guys need more door handles, I got you. Yes. <laughs> um, so in the interior here, guys, tell me, explain to me how we have an electric car with three pedals here. Uh, it's for the hydraulic clutch. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. Well, it's something like that though. It is kind of similar, right? It is, but I think um, by principle, it's kind of similar. So mm -hmm. if you could see just right behind the pedal, there's a small switch. Yeah, yeah, it's like a. a normally open yeah. switch. So yep. we use it to uh, basically switch the map in the motor mm -hmm. um, on the fly, so you don't have to pull your hand off the wheel or yeah. you know anything then, like that. So what it does is switches the regen turns it uh, off, to right? a second map. Yeah, yeah. puts it to uh, a higher regen oh. than you would what you would use for the brake pedal. Oh yeah, yeah. and okay. then you can use the handbrake to give it full regen 
Yeah, so the hand, the handbrake is, is really, really cool. So that'll give it full regen to help essentially lock up those those rear wheels. Yep, and you yep. do have dual brake calibers on that thing. So does the handbrake do that as well? Or are you just well, waiting, it, to, we're waiting, are you waiting to waiting to get rowdy on these things? No. <laughs> well, so it has all the factory Tesla stuff. The whole oh, rear I see. So it's one of those 100%. a parking brake handbrake? Yeah, we're uh, okay. utilizing the parking brake. Oh, okay. We just okay. didn't get to it yet. I see, I see. That makes sense. I yeah, was like, yeah. <laughs> but you have a lot of potential to do a lot of crazy shit with that yes. configuration. That the, the third pedal, that handbrake. This thing is going to be a beast. I can't wait to see you guys. What's about this thing too is if we ever do want to drag race it, this thing has an 850 certified cage in it, so we can actually drag race it. Theoretically, we should be what? Are they 920s, 930s? It'll go extremely fast. Yeah, I've done the math because I was going to do all this with a Gallardo, and I decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> I've done too many Lamborghinis, so yeah, it would be really, really fast. Uh, let's walk over to the DeLorean. So you guys might have seen this vehicle on my buddy uh, Kaisel's Instagram. He's been posting about it, working with these, this team to help design this thing, and they built it to fruition, brought it here. The taillights obviously stand out a lot. They're super, super cool. Very tronish. Yeah, and I, somebody was telling me these are cut out of a solid block of uh, acrylic? Or, yes, our that... friend Jeff Carter actually designed these, and he put them on a machine, he cut them all out, and then he inserted the lights inside of them. Yeah. He's actually can post with these and everything. Yeah, that's super, super awesome. Can you open the rear hatch? Is that, yeah. The engine is, is very impressive. Very, very impressive. I love this intake manifold. That's super dope. Yeah, full custom design. That was also by Jeff Gardner as well. And then CNC that, um, from a buddy who's local to us, uh, JC Customs. Awesome. Yep, yep. Awesome. And then obviously you guys probably saw the turbos are hanging out the, hanging out the ass oh, as they should. Oh, that's awesome. And then we'll walk around here. Wide body kit, amazing wheels. This is static right now, but it will be on bags eventually. Yes. Um, but it, on airlift, yeah, and it looks looks phenomenal. And I've been talking with these guys. We want to do a DeLorean build, so we may be we may be knocking down your door here soon. You know, <laughs> yeah, ask, right, asking for tips and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I just got a line on a DeLorean er, er, earlier we from a guy. One, I know, but you guys are gonna build that one, right? We might, yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I found that. I found another one. So really? yeah, Good yeah. Price? Uh, we don't know yet, but yeah, we're trying to snag it away from the insurance company. Oh. Um, can we take a peek at the interior real quick? Of course. Yeah. Gotta love a good gold wing door, man. Ooh, the money so shot. Cool. The money shot, indeed. <laughs> Very cool. Nice touches with the aluminum pieces that you made in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Resto mod, air vents and controls, status racing seats. So awesome. You guys know we did, these cars aren't, you know, Riddler style right now, but we did, we did both of these cars in like seven months. So, I mean, yeah. we're getting there. This one's almost close to running. That truck runs, but we're going to bring it back and just keep on pushing to get these things the final product done, you know? Awesome. Well, yeah, guys, check them out on YouTube. They have a great YouTube channel. Salvage to Savage. Yeah, check us um, out. Thanks, Thank for, so much, thanks for showing us around. Yeah, these were the most desired cars from my uh, my fans to see this year. So, congratulations. Hey, thank hey. you, buddy. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap for SEMA. We we're in the jump con about to drive it on to Las Vegas Boulevard. This is where I remember that I never finished that uh, wiring for the light bars. So, I think I'm just going to drive until I can find like a parking lot somewhere really close by and then we'll pick it up with a truck. Well, this is a first to me and, and a very high, highly illegal thing that I didn't want to do, but we're turning it on to Las Vegas Boulevard. So I'm going to drive the jump con down the strip. Coolants are doing fine. Everything's looking good. Traffic seems relatively light. So uh, say a prayer. This is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe we're doing this. Oh my God. We have insurance. We have no registration. We don't have a single light on the car. And the car is wider than an entire lane on the strip. I'm like still a long ways away from where we're at. Basically trying to drive the entire strip in the jump con at night. It's such a stupid idea. But uh, it's going great so far, so I'm pretty jazzed on it. Can't beat the view. All right, I got really tired of sitting in traffic, just working that clutch, <laughs> driving on the strip. So I pulled into the link. This is where we all actually meet up every year. Um, and uh, we got a great pickup spot, like right over there. So we're gonna load her onto the truck. Loading this thing onto the truck is always a really fun experience. Look at this. <laughs> it's so insane. We've never tried to do it with the side skirts on, so. We'll see if they just go kablamo. I think it's gonna be fine. All right guys, well, we got the car loaded up onto the truck. Fast forward a few days later, and I'm at Disney with Jason from Engineering Explained. I'm gonna spend a few days here and enjoy myself with some friends and some family. We got him a bubble maker and he couldn't be happier. You're so kind to me. This is all I need. I don't need any rides. <laughs> just a little bubble. I'll be home soon to work on that GTR. That's the next project. We're gonna get that thing wrapped up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to eBay Motors for sponsoring the video. See you on the next one. Peace.